for the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. So Cancer, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Empress and it's with the Ace of Wands. Now, the Empress does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, keep in mind, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she is actually a reminder not to ignore your creative and your intuitive side. She can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money. Money is actually only one of them, but just know the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Yes, the Empress can have it all. Now, it's with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands actually indicates new beginnings, and these would be very positive ones. The Wands are in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work or career, or family and romance. So, if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely, they're likely to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future, with a really good cause. So, you're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. Now, the Ace also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. So, Cancer, the Empress clarified by this Ace of Wands for the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, this is telling me that you had um, maybe deep love or strong attraction for or towards your person. Yeah, because the Empress can also be about a potent time for love, where you could find men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive in many ways. And this is what I'm getting. This is just what I'm feeling, how you were feeling, your person. Yeah, you had become really drawn to them. You found them to be really attractive. Um, and you wanted a new beginning with this person. If it wasn't a new beginning, it could have been a fresh new start. Yeah, so you had a lot of passion for this person. Or there was a lot of passion in the connection. Because the wands can be about passion. Yeah, you were really drawn to this person. It could have been deep love. But for a lot of you, you were attracted to them. And there was great passion in the connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Two of Wands. King of Cups can speak of a balanced male and feminine, feminine energy, which would hold all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person in your life. Usually, when this does represent a live person, it can refer to someone who's very kind and loving, who will usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but that could go either way. Just know, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, um, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. Yeah. The King of Cups represents kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure 
and true love in your life. No matter what your situation is when you get this card in the reading. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now, it's with the Two of Wands, which can indicate that it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands, it can often indicate a partnership with another person. So this could be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So coming up, Cancer, King of Cups, clarified by this Two of Wands. Yeah, like I said, uh, Cancer, you're very attracted to, to this person. And you could actually have two paths toward the future. You could be trying to, to decide to go towards this person that you're very attracted to. And there's great passion. Or should you go down an, another road? Or should you go towards some other option? The other option could be a new beginning with a project, with life, or with another person. Or a situation. But you're trying to decide and it looks like you're really leaning towards this person. Yeah. You really, really are more focused on this person. But you do have your hands tied to something else. But you really, really want to go towards this person more than anything. And I say this because if you look at the Two of Wands, the card that's below the word present, this man, he's sitting down, he's got his hand tied to one option. And he's, but his back is to it, and his body language, and his overall energy is facing the other one, which his ankle is tied to, and he's looking directly into the eyes of that one. Yeah, so you've got your back turned to something, or someone, but you're still tied to it. But you really want to go towards this person you, that um, you're dealing with that we just talked about with the recent past energy. You're ready to offer this person your cup. Yeah, what's in the King of, King of Cups? Cup is love. So you're ready to offer this person some emotions or a relationship, maybe something serious, or you just, you just feel like um, showering them with love. Yeah, you're starting to get emotional. Your, your emotions are starting to get involved with this person. Yeah, you're really, you're more focused on this person than you are Whatever that is, you've got your hand tied to. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the King of Swords. Ends with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the King of Swords can stand for a powerful, very opinionated, forceful person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. Yeah, with the King of Swords, you could be tempted to say or, or think only about how things affect you personally. Especially if this card does not represent an actual person in your life. So, you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords is a very forceful energy, so you may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want so you may need to change something major about your behavior thoughts 
or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. With this one, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these would be very positive new beginnings. So, you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things will be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. Now, this could be in the area of work, or it could be personally. But either way, when you get the Ace of Pentacles in a reading, it's a really, really good thing. So your challenge, Cancer, King of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, like I said, you're ready to offer this person your cup. You're ready to offer them love. Yeah, it looks like you're, you're choosing them. Now, the challenge is, is, is got this King of Swords here. And the King of Swords, like I said, can be a very forceful, cold energy. It can be someone who uses his head over his heart. Um, yeah, the King of Swords will mistreat you. They'll overstep their bounds. King of Swords can be stereotypically manly. Um, just a really forceful energy. Um, the King of Swords will put a stop to things in a forceful way. But what I'm getting, Cancer, is that for some of you, when you reach out to this person ready to um, offer them love or you're reaching out to them because you're you're ready to choose them. Um, this person, they could have a lot of things going on with this Ace of Pentacles here. And they may not be open to it, not right now. Because right now, they've got a lot of new ventures, new ideas new goals, new plans, and new things that they're working on or trying to create. So your person may not be ready for this, for some of you. Now for some of you, this person will be ready. Okay, but this reading is, I'm just telling you what the reading is saying. For some of you, your person is not going to be ready for for whatever you're offering them and it's not that they don't they're not interested but they've got things going on that are new and if you know anything about trying to start things that are new you need to try to stay focused especially if you're going down a new path and you've never been there before so what's going to happen is that, for some of you, you're going to take this in a, in a very, you're going to take it in a harsh way. You're going to take it in a way that you're going to feel like your person was very cold to you. You're going to feel like, like it was... Like the king, like I'm trying to explain, the King of Swords is cold. Use their head over their heart. Forceful. You just your mind is gonna start to make this out to be make this out to be um, rejection in a very harsh way, but it's not. That's your mind. It's telling you that it's gonna start to play tricks on you. Yeah, but the truth is that your person, they have a lot of new things that they're trying to pull pull together or get started for the new year. So, it's saying for some of you, you want to offer this cup of love and it may not be 
um, the time, not, not right now. That's what, that's what this reading is saying. King of Swords will put a stop to things, um, and can make you feel really cold about the way they do it. Yeah. So, that's the challenge. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Now, we have this Queen of Cups, and it's with Temperance. Queen of Cups can indicate a woman who will be very helpful to you. The Queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, to our world, and that's possible even if we work in a factory with objects rather than people. Things are probably better in your world when you get this card in a reading. When you get this card in a reading, um, then you're realizing, and I just realized something, kids, that we've got a true pair here. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I just realized it. Yeah, when I, when I um, get the spread, I shuffle the deck blind fold it, and I um, meditate on the sign, and then I um, let the cards, I let the cards fall out, and this is what came out without me looking, and I didn't realize, anyway, we had a true pair here, yeah, the time is not right for you and this person now, but it's a true pair, this could come together eventually yeah a lot of chemistry great chemistry is in this connection that's what you can get with the true pair so this queen of cups it's paired with temperance the card below the word outcome now temperance with this card things are likely to be going quite well you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they could be standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships. And with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So the outcome cancer. Queen of Cups clarified by temperance. Yeah, so this is good. Okay. So, um, Cancer, you're ready to offer this person your cup of love. You're really drawn to them. Very attracted to, the, to them. You want a new beginning, but it's indicating that the time is not, it's not right now. And you could take, um, you might decide to reach out to them, or they might get the impression that you're ready for something serious with them or you're just ready to open up to them and it looks like they might put a stop to it but I wouldn't take it I wouldn't take it in a bad I wouldn't take it I wouldn't be offended by it because you two are a true pair I'm getting that you two will come together eventually the time is not right because your person's got a lot of things that they're trying to get off the ground and get started for the New Year's. And your person is really focused, focused on that. And they don't want to be thrown off track. Yeah, but they do have emotions for you. Your, your person is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups wants to offer their cup of love. Queen of Cups, what's in the cup, love? King of Cups, what's in the cup, love? You've got love for this person, and they've got love for you. So, the two of you just need to find balance right now, until the time is right. So, you may be thrown off track, because your person will probably come across as not being ready for this. But they've got love for you, Cancer, with this Queen of Cups here. They just got things they need to do, and they're trying to stay focused with this Ace of Pentacles here. So yeah, not right now, but I'm getting down the line. This true pair will be together, and it will be good. 
Yeah, true pairs. You get a lot of great chemistry. And a lot more. So, that's the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you resonate as you know general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself. Best case scenario. And what will happen in the next few weeks for the two of you. I will also put a link below of the ex of I will also put a link below for personal ratings if you'd like to try one of those. So cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. Because we all know things could be a whole lot worse. So hang in there, stay strong, take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day.